This is the Afternoon Buzz Rewind Podcast. I'm your host, Johnny Thrash. Join me for the Afternoon Buzz weekdays from 2 to 7, only on Real Rock Radio, 106.3 The Buzz. What's your rewind? System of a Down have announced their first U.S. show since 2015. And check this bill out. It's them, Incubus, at the drive-in, Clutch, Paul Bearer, and Skeleton Witch. Man, that is going to be an awesome tour. But unfortunately, that's a tour that won't be coming anywhere nearby. Hey, look here, man. There's only one person in the KFC empire who gets called by a formal title, and that's the colonel. Everybody else just fall in line. Well, a guy named Dion Cease got a job at a KFC in York, Pennsylvania, but it didn't go so well, mainly because he wanted to be called Sir. He wasn't a manager, but he wanted his co-workers, his bosses, and everyone else to call him Sir. Then he got into a huge, loud, profanity-filled argument with his bosses during a meeting. He demanded a raise, and finally, they just decided to fire his ass. And I can't help but wonder if they said, you're fired, sir. 1063 The Buzz presents Nonsense Minute. Oh no, with all these bills, we're gonna lose our house. Don't worry, you qualify for being homeless. What? That sounds terrible. That's just what they want you to think. Oh? oh in reality, being homeless means you get a nap all day. In the sun? No nagging bills. No annoying phone calls. Not only that, homeless people get money thrown at them. For an honest day's work? work? No for napping. Well, what if I have to go to the bathroom? I do have that bladder trouble. When you're homeless, the whole world is your bathroom. Yeah, but the homeless are stinky. And they have teeth like an old horse. They look like they rolled in motor oil. It's a small price to pay for free food, free clothing, free medical checkups, free shopping cart, and free money in front of the liquor store. Honey, in the dumpster, I found this discarded Kleenex. And I found the white baby. Isn't it time you went off the grid? Ooh, I want to be off the grid. Let's be off the grid. Okay. If you were homeless, everywhere you went... You'd be home now. Well, it came out just the other day that former Black Crow singer Chris Robinson tried to start a new group with STP's Dean and Robert DeLeo. He told AL.com that he met up with him to try and fill out a potential collaboration when he was still trying to figure out what he wanted to do after the Crows, but he said he actually got kind of a clearer focus of what he wanted to do after jamming with them. He said they sat down and tried to write some songs and stuff and had a nice time, but nothing really came out of it he said he kind of wanted to get away from riff rock you know and he said the guys had written some great songs but he didn't really want to scream and yell over loud guitars he wanted to tell these stories and he wanted his singing and his poetry to have a different relevance to the music and that's too bad i mean the black crows and stp two bands i absolutely love no way that would have sucked a few days ago billy joe armstrong teased a side project called the long shot now he's giving us a little taste of what's to come from the debut album love is for losers Streaming now, Taxi Driver, Love is for Losers, and Chasing a Ghost. And we've got them streaming at 1063thebuzz.com. Now, here's a little bit of Taxi Driver for you. I don't know just sounds like green day to me i mean uh I, I don't know everybody has their own view of what side projects should be to me a side project should sound nothing like your main project because your main projects where you should be putting the focus of that style of music but uh to each his own 1063 the buzz presents nonsense minute i'm tired of trying to meet cool girls at my fire dancing class i just want a guy who'll take me to dinner at the food trucks. Having a hard time finding someone with your same interests? Yeah. Yeah. Now you can try hipstermatch.com. I'm Seth, and I've been growing my beard for three years. No trimming at all. Oh, and I dyed it red to match my favorite pair of skinny jeans. I'm Chloe, and I make tiny hats, but not for your head. The reason that Hipster Match works is our ironic algorithm used to select your perfect hipster match. Do you want to go to the spoken word open mic in the park at midnight? Do I ever? I just wrote an acapella rap on my Etch-A-Sketch. And the Hipster Match photo uploader automatically Instagrams every picture so it looks like shit. 
I'm Clementine. Call me Clemmy. I like Johnny Cash and Salt and Pepper. I'm Dex. I have a dog named Moose and a tattoo of a tattoo. So if you like vinyl collections, drumming with friends, and ironic Phil Collins t-shirts dipped in patchouli, let's FaceTime. No, let's write letters. On paper. <laughs> <laughs> let's listen to terrible music. On purpose. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should try hipstermatch.com. Last week, Francis Bean Cobain posted one acapella verse of an original song on Instagram. And of course, because she's Kurt Cobain and Courtney Love's daughter, it blew up. And E! News asked her if she had any intention of continuing with the music thing. And she said she absolutely does, but she doesn't want to pigeonhole herself and say she's a musician or a visual artist because she feels like it was all encompassing. And no, that was not an official release. It was just an Instagram post. And then uh, E! News host Sibley Skulls asked her what she thinks her dad would think of her art, and she replied, quote, I don't have an answer for that because I don't want to speak on someone else's behalf. I would hope that he would be proud of the human being I am, even if he didn't like the art I am putting out. That's all I would ask of anyone in my life, end quote. Come on, man. I'm a daddy, and I'll tell you, my little girl puts out some music. I'm going to absolutely love it unconditionally. I think he would have been the same. There's a guy named David Hinks from Victoria, Australia, and about 10 years ago, he worked for a construction company. His boss's name was Greg Short, and David had a problem with him. Dude farted all the time. He'd do it every single day, and sometimes he'd walk right up to David's desk, and it seemed like he was intentionally ripping gas on David. So David wound up getting laid off, and he filed a worker's compensation suit because he said Greg was bullying him with his flatulence. He was looking for $1.4 million, but unfortunately for him, after a long trial, the judge just dismissed the case. She ruled that even if Greg was passing gas right on him, it didn't, quote, necessarily amount to bullying. Man. If people can start suing their co-workers for farting, I got to get me a lawyer quick. Another Nonsense Minute, brought to you by 106.3 The Buzz. Facebook for dummies. Facebook is a social networking site, so you can share news no one cares about I'm pregnant. with friends you've never met. Hey. Here are some tips. Don't accept a friend request from your mom. Oh, hey, it's mom. Unless you want her to see all the pictures of you lap dancing drunk for Japanese businessmen last Halloween. Oh, dear. At some point, someone you don't give a crap about may send you a poke. A poke. What they're saying is, please notice me. I am lonely and sad. What? And drunk. Hey. If you're in a relationship hey. and it's not complicated, shut up. You, shut up. you are not in a relationship. When it's your birthday, hundreds of strangers will wish you happy birthday. Some guys may send you penis pics. <laughs> If you post an ultrasound of your unborn child, somebody will inappropriately comment, LOL, that's gross. Or, Any idea who the father is? Or, Did you check for downs? So instead, Instagram a hilarious photo of your cat. Have fun Facebooking, but don't buy Facebook stock. This has been Facebook for Dummies. While Metallica's Master of Puppets is by far my favorite album of all time, much less my favorite Metallica album, Garage Days is very near and dear to my heart. That was actually my first Metallica album. I was 14 at the time. I had my $5 weekly allowance on me while we were at Atco Retail Store there in Vernon. I saw it, asked my mom if I could borrow a little bit more money from her so I could get it, took it home, listened to it, wasn't impressed at first. But the entire next day while I was at school, I couldn't stop thinking about it, and I really wanted to go home and listen to it again, and that was the time when it really clicked. After that, I picked up Master of Puppets, and it was on. It was all about thrash metal from there on out, hence my on-air name. Well, anyway, that one is next up in the Metallica reissues. It is out tomorrow, the 598 EP Garage Days re-revisited in all kinds of different formats. There's the CD, the limited edition CD with the lenticular long box, the old boxes they used to sell them in. That's the one I'm looking for there It's also available on cassette, several different vinyl editions, and uh, you can get all the details at Metallica.com. A 37-year-old guy named Bernard Jackson recently got evicted from his house near Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And when the cops tried to kick him out last week, it started a four-hour standoff. He claimed to be a, quote, sovereign citizen, meaning he's not governed by the laws of the United States. And he wouldn't come out, so a SWAT team had to go in and get him. Once they were inside, they smelled gasoline. And when they tried to go upstairs to arrest him, he tried to hold him off by setting his stairs on fire. 
And his plan actually worked in the short term because they had to go back outside until the fire was out. But while he was burning the stairs, he also set his feet on fire by mistake. And the burns were bad enough that he decided to surrender. He yelled that he was coming out, then limped outside and let him arrest him. He's facing charges for criminal trespassing and resisting arrest, plus a second-degree arson charge for his stupid stair fire idea. And you know, when I read stories like that, I believe Darwin was on to something with the whole natural selection thing. Hey, thanks for checking out the Afternoon Buzz Rewind podcast. Join me, Johnny Thrash, for the Afternoon Buzz weekdays from 2 to 7 on Real Rock Radio, 106.3 The Buzz.